Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be talking about Discord. Now, I'm going to be showing you how to use Discord to its full potential with full capabilities. Um, so that way you can kind of understand how to use it. It's been around for a while now and it's definitely probably the most used chatting application for gamers or, you know, casual gamers. Um, Slack is often used for work and Skype is still used for work and stuff like that among you know friends and stuff like that but Discord I think is really making an impact on the industry and it has been for a while replacing things like TeamSpeak and Skype for gaming or even just people who like to participate in chat groups um, you'll see Discord for gaming channels you'll see Discord um, for all sorts of things and you might be wondering you know how to use it as a first time user so that's what I'm going to be showing you here today um, as well as some tips and tricks so I've been using Discord for a while and um, it's pretty cool um, the, one of the main things you're going to want to do first off is figure out how these channels work so essentially what happens with Discord is that you have text channels and voice channels um, with the text channels you can be granted permission to join them um, depending on the server you're in so uh, you might have the ability to talk like this or depending on your permissions um, depending on the server you're on you might not be able to actually talk sometimes you have to ask the admin to get permissions and stuff like that to be able to talk but text channels are pretty self-explanatory if you want to make your own channel you can do so like this um, each discord um, is works as a separate unit so here we have Tom Spark world you can make your own discord channel and within this channel it's gonna have all this information with text channels and voice channels so within the channel, you can make different text channels and voice channels. Um, see, you could do text or voice. We could do the voice and then we could do the text. So there we have, um, well, let's see here, text channel. So the text channel is a little bit picky on in terms of oh, okay so it was minimized i didn't know that that must be new where you could minimize interesting so there you have all the different channels um you know you could go back and forth between each one and each one's kind of like a separate unit um separate dialogue so a lot of times with channels you'll see that there's different categories like movies games whatever um there you go so pretty self-explanatory there in terms of voice you just click it to join um, and once you're in this channel, you can pretty much talk to anybody that's in here. Join another one, talk to that channel, so on. Uh, one of the things you're gonna wanna notice right away is how to mute yourself. Just click on this mute button. Anyone in this voice channel will no longer be able to heal you, but you can still hear them. Now, if you wanna also disable the ability to hear other people, maybe they're saying something stupid, maybe you're just tired of listening to people, maybe you wanna go AFK or maybe you just need a break, go ahead and push that button. So um, with this deafen ability, you can't hear people, um, but you can't uh, deafen yourself and talk at the same time. So it's really only the option to mute yourself so peop you, uh, people can't hear you or the ability to both um, deafen and mute yourself. So there you go. Um, in terms of that, guys, if you want to leave the channel, you can just go to a different one or click on this disconnect button. That's going to kick you out of the channel and you're not going to be able to hear anyone. They're not going to be able to hear you. So if you want to go, just go ahead and click on that disconnect button. Let's go talk about uh, profiles and stuff like that a little bit. Um, when you're in a Discord channel, you could usually change your nickname. Something I've seen some people not know how to do before. Um, not only that, but you can mention yourself by doing that. It'll just kind of type your thing there. Um, but you can also kind of configure profile here, add a note if you want. So that way when people click on your profile, they could see some note about you or something like that. Um, you can even like add yourself a role if you're like the server administrator to have specific privileges. Um, yeah, but I also see people, you know, add their different um, kind of usernames and different programs and applications and gaming platforms and stuff like that. Um, so you can do that right here. Um, you can connect your accounts. Um, you know, we have Twitch, Battle.net, League of Legends, all sorts of things, Reddit, uh, Xbox. So that's convenient if you want to join a channel and you, you don't want to have to keep telling people your usernames to just connect your accounts. Pretty cool. Um, anyways, guys, let's look at the settings. So there are a lot of settings to uh, Discord. Here we have right away two-factor authentication. This is good to use if you don't want someone stealing your account or taking over your account. 
basically what this happen means is that you're gonna have a code sent to your phone so that way you log in um, it's a good way to keep your account secure in terms of privacy and safety you can scan messages um, from everyone um, in terms of avoiding explicit content or you can just turn it all off not only that guys but you can also change who adds you as a friend um, who can message you um, the server members friends of friends so on um, you can also decide how you want your data to be used whether to approve discord um, or you can turn that off to remain more private um, not only that guys but we do have some cool authorized apps um, that are getting kind of cool um, we do see some integrations with stuff like League of Legends and um, some other games where you could kind of see actually where someone is, um, you know, within the game. Um, not only that, guys, but you could, this authorized app section is more for things like, um, there's like a integration with... certain uh, streaming apps and stuff like that. It could like turn your thing into streaming mode it can implement you know some kind of features within the app so if you're looking for something like that that could be um, something you're going to be install an app and it's going to ask you authorize it from discord and this is a section where you're going to basically see that um, here's the connections like i mentioned before now discord nitro is pretty much the premium version of discord um, you get to choose um, any discord chat tag that you wanted um, you get an animated avatar um, that's pretty cool um, higher quality screen, sh screen shares. Um, basically what you do is when you're calling someone, you can actually video chat or share your screen or share your game, which is cool. Um, you have custom emojis, animated emojis, uh, boosted upload limits if you want to share stuff, and it shows you a Discord badge. So guys, here is the voice and video settings. This is pretty important if you're having problems with Discord. Um, maybe you're not having audio being sent to someone or something like that. Um, basically here is going to be where your input device is. Make sure this is checked to the microphone that you use the most often. For me, it's going to be my Blue Yeti USB advanced audio device. And in terms of output device, I just keep it to default playing through my computer speakers. Now voice activity and push to talk depends on really what you want to do. If you choose voice activi activity, you're not going to have to push a keybind to play your voice to other people. Whereas push to talk, you're going to have to do that and you could customize the shortcut right here as well as the delay. Um, I like voice activity depending on who I'm talking to. Some people get annoyed by hearing background noises, some people don't. So just try to keep that in mind and um, to see how your friends react to having background noise, of course. Now you can also change your video settings here with your camera and you can see the preview here. Let's go ahead and test that. Looks like it's not going to actually work right now because I'm actually using OBS to show my webcam there. So should be working quite fine though. Not only that guys, but we have the Opus Voice codec, which is going to give you some extra features like noise suppression, automatic gain control, echo cancellation, and of course, um, stuff like this. Now, um, attenuation, lower the voice of other applications by this percent with someone speaking. So this actually could be quite useful if um, you, you are using voice activity, um, maybe you're getting some background noise. So by this, you could lower the application sounds of you know your game when you speak, so that way they hear less background noise from your game. Actually a pretty cool feature that you could take advantage of. I'm gonna probably start using this more. Um, audio subsystem, um, that's pretty cool. Shows you if it's not detecting voice from a Discord and stuff like that. Um, and of course we have some debugging stuff down there you probably don't have to worry about. But anyways guys, a fair amount of settings here to customize. Um, pretty self-explanatory though. This stuff is just gonna kind of make your microphone sound better. Uh, gain control, basically what that means is when you have your gain too loud, it's gonna be kind of cracking and spiking. So that's probably good to keep enabled. You're probably gonna want to turn down the gain on your mic if you have a little knob like me right here. Um, you don't really want a lot of gain. Um, so keep that in mind. So here we go. I have some overlay settings guys Essentially what this guy is gonna do is give you some information about who's talking in your games This could be useful if you're in a new discord or something like that um, You can enable the game overlay as well as customize how big this overlay is so um, You could use it to display always when speaking or just only when speaking or always so this is a pretty cool feature It's gonna be like a little icon in the top, uh, you know left of your screen or something like that Pretty much just shows you who's talking so you can you know, know who's talking notifications is pretty simple self-explanatory as well pretty much you have the desktop notifications enabled it's going to show a little pop-up on your screen let you know you have a unread message or something like that 
You can also enable taskbar flashing, which means is that when you have your little Discord icon down at the bottom of the screen, it's going to start flashing. Um, you also have the ability to do text-to-speech notifications. So you can have a robot, uh, you know, read your notifications to you, which is pretty cool. You could select a specific channel, um, which is nice. Um, here we have some sounds and stuff like that. You could customize. Um, depending on if you don't really want to hear when people are leaving you can turn that off and so on um yeah i'm just gonna leave pretty much these uh, default most of the time and you'll probably be fine doing so as well you could also add some specific keybinds guys if you want to toggle specific functions so let's say you want to toggle to mute you could just put that to something like you know k or something like that so anytime you push k it actually mutes you pretty cool feature there to take advantage of if you want to you know take advantage of some of these extra, you know, um, features. Next up on the list, guys, is that you can see when specific games are playing um, or specific, um, you know, customization for the overlay. So you can actually customize uh, specifically for each game the overlay if it's on or not. Um, that's actually pretty cool. So if you want to, um, you know, have an overlay on some, some games and other games, it's totally possible. There you go. So we also have text and images. Um, you could display images when they're posted as links in the chat. So when the URL is kind of posted, it shows like a little preview. Um, images larger than 10 megabyte will not be previewed. So image preview is there. Um, automatically play GIFs, um, pretty self-explanatory. And show website preview, pretty much just all, you know, customized text stuff. You can mess around with this uh, depending on how you want it. Now we also have some appearance settings here. You could do the light version of Discord. Whoa, that's really light or you could do the dark version. I kind of like the light actually right now. You could also do compact, so more IRC mode or the more cozy mode, um, depending on you know which look you like. You can also change the zoom level or the chat font scaling. So it's gonna make it smaller or you know the zoom level. Um, it kind of makes the, the, the whole app kind of zoomed in a bit, um, where it's just kind of just kind of changes the font. So guys, we also have some uh, hardware acceleration. Acceleration. You probably want to want to turn that off. Um, it could impact game performance. Finally, guys, we got this kind of a streamer mode. So basically, what happens is Discord knows how to kind of sense if you're streaming, and when you do this, it's kind of gonna hide your personal information and Discord tags and stuff like that. Um, this is what I've actually been useful to use making this video instead of me creating an alternate account. But anyways, guys, this is pretty useful if you're streaming and it's pretty automatic. But it's good to you know, get your privacy back and stuff like that. So you know, hide your Discord tags and your email and stuff like that, um, as well as hiding instant invite links. So there you go. Maybe someone posted in the chat or something like that. Anyways, guys, we have some language options here if you're um, in any one of these countries and associated languages. And we also have some window settings like the ability to open Discord, um, uh, you know, when you get home like a good boy. So this is just gonna start up Discord. And uh, this is going to be starting minimize and stuff like that. Minimize, close the tray, um, you know, if you want to close. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for the settings. Uh, a lot of settings to play around with. One reason why Discord is so popular it has a lot of controls and different customizations. Besides that, though, guys, there's not really too much more to Discord. Um, there are some server settings that we could discuss um, depending on if you're a server owner or not. So here we go guys, we have the overview. You could change your picture here if you want, um, depending on the server. Um, not only that guys, but let's go over this really quickly. Um, the account settings here. Um, if you go to my account, you could edit your picture. Um, you can edit your email and password and stuff like that. So this is gonna be your account information. But in terms of the server settings guys, you just click up um, here, go to server settings and you could change the server icon, you could change the channels, um, different things. The moderation, um, you could change the moderation settings here um, depending um, on how much verification you want people to have. Pretty cool feature here. Um, not only that, guys like that, but you could put up some filters, some audit logs, um, just to check what's been going on. Um, just to see, that's cool. We have some role settings here. Basically, if you're a server owner here, you could customize the role that everyone has and what they can do in the Discord. I'm not gonna go into too much detail here, but if you wanted to do some of this more power features and set up your own server, you could kind of check it out. Um, integrations here, you could connect your YouTube or Twitch account um, to sync your subscribers and sponsors to a role. Um, that's cool. Um, we have emojis here. You can upload emojis. Wow, that's also pretty cool. Um, Webhooks here. 
Um, you could get automated messages and data emptems sent to your check channel. Um, so maybe this could be good for streamers or something like that. Um, pretty easy here, guys. Um, we also have um, some widget options here. You could put this in a website or something like that to show you know how many users are in the channel. So maybe you're in your gaming clan or something like that. Um, in terms of user management, you could uh, you know change the roles and stuff like that. You can customize the invites and bands. You can also kick people out of the channel, and you can see those people here. I think the last thing that I want to touch on, guys, is the ability to mute channels. You can mute a channel by clicking here, um, and you can also pin messages here um, if you want to see specific messages. But anyways, guys, you can also hide the members list. Anyways, guys, muting the channel is very useful depending on if you know you want to be getting that beep or whatever all the time. You can also change that uh, somewhere around here, notification settings. You could change you know, which things you want to mute or whatever like that, or the entire server. So guys, as you can see, Discord really has almost a setting for everything and you could really configure it to however you want it to be. You know, if you want something to be a certain way, chances are it's going to be able to configure it as such. So guys, you can see why Discord is one of the best applications out there. Now guys, if you like this video or you want to see more tech tutorials on the channel, just let me know down in the comments down below and I'll see you again on the next video. Goodbye! last thing I wanted to mention guys is that if you click on an individual user you could private message them and this gives you a couple different options you could just text message them as per normal or if you want you could go to the top part of the message and actually start a voice call a video call and then once you start a voice call or something like that you can actually share the screen um, pretty self-explanatory and I'm not going to show you exactly that right now just because uh, it's kind of hard to blur everything out of the people's I'm talking to and stuff like that but it's a cool feature that really makes uh, discord competitive with stuff like skype or any of those other apps you could stream your screen or even the video game you're doing and it's pretty easy to use all right guys thanks for checking out this video goodbye